Lock Sing Restaurant downtown, two o'clock tomorrow. And the New York Connect's gonna be there. Mm -hmm. We need you to wear a wire. I told you, I'm not invited. I'm on the outside. Then how'd you find out? Little birdie told me. Leave Isabel alone no more. Even if that's how you get your precious information? Careful, no one makes you coming out of here. Mm -hmm. This Fair Play 2333, and I want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdown. I, I, I just want the life that Ennis can't afford. We, we, we whipping them babies once you can't afford. Not looking for beef, but some you can't avoid. And if I'm on a mission, it's you on the voyage. I've been telling y'all for a while that Angela has been dirty. And as I went through power, I just continued to find more proof of it. As I went through OG power, of course. Um, in this scene, she found out some information about the distro location from Nomar. Now, Nomar gave her great information and it worked, but at what expense now we do remember that the location got changed at the last 20 minutes so when the feds bust in there and thought they were gonna find they found some like chinese people actually having a party there and the bus was a bus no pun intended right but the part that stood out to me most is when angela asked him how did you receive that information and he said from a little birdie the only thing she had to say back was don't get caught coming out of this house don't let nobody make you that's ridiculous that angela would allow him to prey on a 16 year old and then later we actually saw angela play on that same 16 year old but she did it from the perspective of hey do you want nomar's killer found do you want justice for nomar i know you loved him and she violated so many laws and so many rules and i always say this about a cop right Obviously, a cop is supposed to serve and protect and serve and protect within the uh, parameters of the law. So when I look at a cop, if a cop is working outside of the law, that cop is a criminal. Um, and I know we have to look at a lot of these things crazy and say, well, what if that cop planted evidence on a guy who they know killed somebody and then they brought that killer in and that killer wouldn't be able to kill nobody no more well that's not how that worked right and even if that killer was going to kill me and the cops tried to bring him in incorrectly don't bring them in you supposed to do your job to the letter of the law what makes a law enforcement any different from a regular citizen if they gonna work outside of the law you a criminal just like a criminal you just have on a badge while you're doing crime so i say all that to say what angela um allowed a pedophile to play and manipulate a young girl's mind and do god knows what else in the hopes of grabbing a ghost that could never be grabbed i think that she was despicable for this and i always think that she's dirty and another perspective that i'm thinking about now since i'm actually talking about it is that when you look at angela she was no better than tasha in a lot of ways now i'm not saying that she was exactly like tasha but i think when ghost actually looked at tasha he saw her as such a bad person because he was able to see the bad things she done. He was able to see how she changed. He was able to see how she didn't want him to be a better man. But now since I'm talking about this, and this is something I've been found out, but I didn't want to give this take until I actually did this video, right? Now since I'm able to talk about it, I believe that if James St. Patrick could have saw who Angela was as a cop, he wouldn't have wanted her either. Now, would he have continued to deal with her? I'm like 95 to 99% sure he would have because he would be able to get inside information. 
I love the way that they interacted with each other in that cat and mouse game. You know, he figured out that she was a fed. She figured out that he might be into some uh, illegal activities with Tommy. She also at some point figured out that he might be ghost, but she stayed close to him to try to see what information she can get. And he stayed close to her to try to see what information he might be able to get. And in my mind, they both knew that each other knew who the other was, but they didn't want to blow up the fantasy by um, dropping that bomb on each other. At any time, Angela could have told Ghost, listen, I know who you are and I know what you up to and we gonna have to separate. Or Ghost could have told her, hey, I understand that you are fed and you working on this stuff, but I'm gonna have to get away from you. Now, it will be a little bit harder from Ghost standpoint because he need that inside information. And also, Angie would be able to say, well, if he's 100% clean, why do he care if I'm a fed? Now, he could have put it under the assumption of, hey, I'm getting away from you because I have a friend and you trying to put my friend in jail for doing nothing. Yeah, he was wild when he was young, but he's not like that anymore, et cetera, et cetera. But this is about Angela and how she used Nomar, ended up eventually getting Nomar killed, which is going to come up. When I'm doing these OG power flashbacks, I'm doing them in chronological order. So I do have to go to the playlist and place it in chronological order. And I'll probably maybe play. I want to most of my playlists. I place them from the most popular on down because it's just like i want y'all to see the popular videos and keep going etc but i may place this one in chronological order i haven't 100 percent decided how or when i'm gonna do it like that but anyway man um what do y'all think about angela do y'all think angela was a dirty cop or do you think she was doing what she had to do to catch up perp now remember two things can be true she can be doing what she have to do to catch up perp and she also can be dirty um and like i just told y'all earlier if you operate outside the lines of the law you are a criminal um some people may be like well i only stole that bread because i didn't have nothing to eat i empathize with you but you are a criminal now i'm not saying you should go to jail for that i'm not saying you should be prosecuted for that i am saying that you should be held accountable for your actions and being held accountable for your actions may be community service and also a person shouldn't have to steal bread so it should be a program that you can put that person in to where they will be able to earn their own money but it's also like soup kitchens and stuff inside of communities where you can go so i don't want anybody to think that i'm against one or the other i do understand both sides but the problem with crime is that once crime starts happening not right now i'm talking from angela valdez uh standpoint it puts her on a shady line and then it starts other people to work on that shady line we saw Angela uh, effect on the federal investigation all through power, even after she died. Like Angela was the one who allowed Mike Sandoval to get killed. Angela was the one who got killed, which actually turned Sax into a bad cop. And Sax started planting stuff that he wasn't supposed to plant. All type of little stuff just started happening, right? So when we looking at this situation, we have to, we have to, we have to keep in mind that everything actually started falling apart for the feds from Angela. Angela is the part of, damn. So this is how Angela paralleled Tasha. Everything started falling apart for Ghost because of Kanan and Tasha and everything started falling apart for Angela because of um, Ghost and greg i just think that that's ironic that i just uh it just came to my mind that like uh ghost life started to go downstream because of his love interest and in law enforcement angela life started to go downstream because of her love interest and in a criminal and i think the saying when that happened is like is uh two sides to the same coin angela gonna have to pay for her sins and she paid ultimately with her life but um this is a great og find if i would say so myself if y'all want to be included in more conversations or if y'all want to start your own theories and conversations go to facebook and join the power book multiverse and cinema group also 
follow me on Instagram at F A I R P L A Y underscore two three three three. Salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.